Hi guys, I'm Juva. Lots of you guys have been telling me here in the comments on YouTube, Juva, please make a video about how to write a conclusion for the independent essay in TOEFL writing. So here it is. Today is all about how to write a conclusion for the independent essay. I will tell you what you should write about in your conclusion and spoiler it's more than just answering the question. I will also tell you what structure your conclusion should have and then we're going to do an example together. Throughout the video I will give you tips that help me score 30 in TOEFL writing and that can make you score really high. And after that you can download a template, you will find the link below and use it for your TOEFL full preparation. Are you ready guys? I think I heard a yes, so let's get started. Let's start with the first point. What should you write about in your conclusion? Perhaps you say now, that's totally clear. I must provide an answer to the question in order to end my essay, in order to tell the reader what my opinion about the matter is. That's true. You are right. You need to provide an answer to the question given in the prompt. But the thing is, that's not all. If you just write one sentence telling the reader your answer to the question asked, this is not sufficient. This won't give you all the points you can get. Guys, you should see the conclusion as your chance. The conclusion is your chance to finally convince the reader that you are right. And why should you do that? You should do that because you want to write an essay that scores high. You should do that because you want to get the points you deserve. And you only get these points if you write a strong conclusion where you state your opinion and where you tell the reader again why you were right. Let's see how you can do that by having a look at the structure of your conclusion. When you start writing the conclusion, you have already written an introduction where you set out your thesis and a body paragraph where you provided your reasons and examples to support your thesis. In order to convince the reader in your conclusion that you are right, you must now tie all the strings together. This means that you must refer to the important points in your essay which you wrote about before and you must put these points in a nutshell. You must put them together, you must condense them and show the reader that's my opinion and this is what supports my opinion and that's why I'm right. This means that you must present your most important points again and you must do this in a really concise way so that the reader thinks, oh yes, I see it now, I understand it, you're right. To do that, you need to do two things. First, you need to restate your thesis. Why should you restate your thesis? You may now say, but the reader has already read my thesis in the introduction and he has also gone through the body paragraph and he knows my opinion. That's true, the reader may roughly remember what your opinion is, but don't forget that the reader has come down a long way from your introduction, through your body paragraph, to your conclusion. Therefore, it's a good idea to restate your thesis again in order to remind the reader, remember, this was my thesis. Second, you should restate your reasons. You should tell the reader again what your reasons are for your opinion. Remember, you say that the reasons are already in the body paragraph and now you should state them again because in your conclusion you should condense all the information you were talking about before in your essay in order to finally convince the reader. 
And simply stating your thesis is not enough because the thesis is just your opinion. But you want to do more. You want to support your opinion and you want to strengthen your opinion and tell the reader why you're right and get the points you deserve. So you should state the reasons again in order to make your conclusion really strong. Let's do an example together. We will now use the example that we already used in the video where we talked about how to write an introduction for the independent essay and how to write a body paragraph. Perhaps you remember it. This was our example. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? If all schools required students to take physical education, public health would improve considerably. Use specific reasons and examples in your answer. What we first need to do now is restate our thesis. Remember, in our thesis that we wrote in the introduction, we said that we agree with the statement. We wrote, I completely agree that this would solve the problem of deteriorating health in society. Now, before you start restating your thesis in your conclusion, be aware that you should not copy the exact same sentence that you wrote in the introduction, because this will not make you score high. If you do that, you will not get the points you deserve. Instead, you need to paraphrase the thesis that you wrote in the introduction. You need to rephrase it, which means you need to state it in different words. Why should you do that? You should do that because you want to show the examiner that you have a broad range of vocabulary, that you know how to restate this sentence. See this sentence as a chance to show the examiner that you deserve a lot of points. Take the sentence from your introduction. Think about how you can rephrase this sentence in different words. And there is another thing that you should do, and that is really, really important, guys. Use linking words. Guys, I have already said this in many videos before and you know it, I'm a huge fan of linking words. Linking words are amazing because linking words literally boost your score. If you drop a few linking words in your essay, your score will go up like this. So see the conclusion as a chance, as a final chance to drop in a few linking words that you haven't used before, to show the examiner that you have a broad range of vocabulary and that you know how to use linking words effectively, how to use them in order to make your essay convincing. The question now is, which linking words can we use in the conclusion? For example, we could start the conclusion with in conclusion. Yeah, that's quite logical. You could also use another linking word, of course. Just think about which words you prefer and use that. It's important that you use words that you are comfortable with. But in our example here, we will now use in conclusion. After that, you should tell the reader again that you are talking about your opinion now. Remember, you want to restate your thesis and your thesis is your main point. This means it's your opinion. So, for example, we could write in conclusion and don't forget the comma to my mind and again don't forget the comma, and then we go on with our sentence. Now we need to restate our thesis and we need to use different words for that. Guys, it's totally up to you how you want to rephrase your thesis. What we are doing now 
is just an example. For example, you could write, in conclusion, to my mind, making physical education compulsory in schools would contribute significantly to improving public health. This is the first sentence of our conclusion. We restated the thesis, we used linking words and we paraphrased the information. We did not use the exact same sentence that we already used in the introduction when stating our thesis. And this means that we showed the examiner, look, I know how to use linking words and by the way, I know many of them and I can use them correctly and can use them in order to enhance my point. And second, I'm able to paraphrase information. I have a broad range of vocabulary. This is what will make you score high in TOEFL writing. Now let's write our second sentence. Let's restate our reasons that we were talking about in the body paragraph. Perhaps you remember them. In our body paragraph, we provided two reasons in order to support our thesis. The first reason was that if children must take physical education classes in school, they may be less prone to become obese in the future because they engage in physical activities more often. And of course, this is good for public health. The second reason was that children may want to exercise with their families and this means that their families become involved in physical activities, which is good for public health again. So these were our two reasons and now we need to restate these reasons in our conclusion. And again, guys, remember that you should not write the exact same sentence that you wrote in the body paragraph. This sentence in your conclusion, this is the last sentence in your essay. Take this chance and rephrase the information of your body paragraph. This sentence is literally the last chance to show the examiner that you have a broad range of vocabulary and that you deserve many points. For example, you can start your final sentence with the words, this is because. If you use these words, you show the reader, look, this was my thesis, this is my opinion, and now I'm going to tell you for the last time why this is my opinion and why I'm right. For example, you could write, this is because physical exercise can prevent children from becoming obese in later life and because they may involve their families in physical activities. This is the second sentence of our conclusion and the last sentence of our essay. Let's quickly have a look at what we have done in this sentence. We restated our two reasons. We made our thesis stronger by doing this. We used linking words in order to show the reader that's why that's why I have this opinion and we paraphrased the sentence. This is what will make you score high in TOEFL writing. Let's wrap up what you need to do when writing the conclusion for the independent essay in TOEFL writing. First, you need to restate your thesis. Second, you need to restate your reasons that you were talking about in your body paragraph. Don't forget to rephrase the information and use linking words. If you do that, you have everything you need to get a really high score in TOEFL writing. That's it. 
This is how you write a conclusion for the independent task in TOEFL writing. If you like, download the template. You can find the link in the description below. And if you have any questions or a particular video wish, tell me about that in the comments below. I'd love to hear about that. Guys, I wish you all a wonderful Christmas. Have a great time with your family and friends and enjoy it. I hope to see you here next time. Bye-bye.